Hello my dear little champs I welcome you all in today's science class This is Rohan sir from Mehdi English Medium School and as you all know students since two days we are enjoying our lectures you are really I I know that you are really enjoying your lectures because I am just revising the lectures with the extra knowledge and that too with the animated pictures so that you can get the brief and you know uh, visual knowledge of the thing that you have already learned it and I know that uh, some of you have the habit of looking at the pictures and remembering the things so that it, it is not your fault like the at this age what you look is what you remember the most so that is why I have brought this concept into the you know your teaching videos so that you can remember the videos you can remember the things you have seen you can remember the answers ultimately you can score the good marks so even if you have seen that you can make your own answers with your knowledge of whatever you remember so my dear students in today's class I have brought the content which is very much again interesting for you as it was for the two lectures previous two lectures today we are going to get the extra knowledge of lesson number three which is housing and clothing with animation as usual we are doing in the previous two lectures so my dear students housing and clothing you already have been through this uh, lesson already explanation is done theory is done revision is done so let us move on with the animated photos and animation and the pictures with which you can get the more knowledge about the housing and clothing I am just going to describe you the pictures so that even if you have seen it even if you have not seen it you will enjoy this a lot for sure so my dear students first of all let me tell you that here in this video I have brought you interesting pictures for housing and clothing so let us see what descriptive pictures we get in this video lecture so as you can see the natural environment where the specific humans or living beings have the habit of living there are called their habitats and particularly there are two types it could be the land or it could be aquatic which is water habitat you know that there are different creatures on the earth let it be the human being or the birds or the animals every different animal and human being have their different habitat different ways of living different places of where they live as you can see that the bird lives on the tree they make their nests which is the home to them they give the eggs there they lay their eggs there their young ones get birth over there so this is their habitat this is the habitat of the bird where they live and this you can see in the picture what can you see obviously this is these are the fishes correct so this is the habitat for the fishes where the fish lives fish octopus crocodiles many aqua cultures many aqua related we can say animals also live there and this is the house where obviously the human being lives so different creatures have their different habits of living at the different places even if you can see that this is the house evolution the changes which took place since the ancient times first human used to live in the caves or in the house like this then slowly they used to they slowly developed their houses slowly they made the big houses and then now they are building the houses with the modern technologies with the modern equipments correct so this is how the evolution took place from small to big to the modern technologies etc etc these are the caves correct these are the different kinds of caves if you can see and this is how the ancient animals looked like 
करेक्ट दिस वॉज द एलिफेंट ऑफ एंशंट टाइम नॉट ओनली इन द ह्यूमन बींग्स नॉट ओनली इन द हाउस इज बट ऑल्सो इवोल्यूशन टूक प्लेस इन अ लॉन्ग टर्म विथ एनिमल्स ऑल्सो सम एनिमल्स आर नाउ डिस्टिंक्ट सम आर स्टिल लाइव नाउ एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ केव वेर ह्यूमन बींग्स यूज टू डिसाइड करेक्ट द ओल्ड द मंकी लाइक ह्यूमन बींग्स इफ यू रिमेंबर इफ यू माइट हैव सीन एनी वेयर बिकॉज ह्यूमन बींग्स आर फ्रॉम मंकी ओनली करेक्ट दिस इज द इनर पार्ट ऑफ द केव वेर दिस इज द ओनली शेल्टर द हैड इन द एंशंट टाइम्स दे हैड नो अदर सपोर्ट नो अदर शेल्टर नो वे टू लिव दे यूज टू हंट दे यूज टू ईट दे यूज टू बॉर्न दे यूज टू बर्न द फायर which you now call it bonfire which is there now in the modern way but this is how it is all invented from the ancient times correct we we enhance our skills which we have already got from our ancestors correct so th they are the only the originator they are the only creator of the things we are using nowadays in a with a modern technologies so not only that but if you can see that these are the pictures of ancient uh, the remains of the houses which they used to build this is how they started building the house they started uh, building the borders they never knew how to build the shelter or two storied three storied multi storied buildings correct but this is how they used to this was the this was we can say the initial step of building the shelters and the house by our ancestors and here in the picture if you can see these are the huts this still you can see in the slum areas and just imagine students now you have your house now you have a big house a small house never mind but just imagine the people at that time they were dwelling in these kind of huts can you just imagine they they had no fear of animals because during those days there were no centuries there were no wildlife centers there were no kind of uh, you can say that uh, national parks or anything to keep the wild animals the wild animals and the humans lived at the equal stage but the humans at that time were quite more practical and you cannot still imagine to live in these kind of hut correct you still go for the campaigns you go still go for the outings but you never can imagine to live in this kind of hut with no electricity no water supply nothing just a piece of cloth and the woods that's it so this is how they used to survive their survival was not easy like us so this is the outermost construction area in which everything is explained how they used to build their house at first you can see here the description is written the windows were small and high to keep out the heat means so if you cook anything if you are cooking anything the heat would automatically extract from the house correct the walls and the floors were made of mud and brick so now they have different uh, kind of uh, things available to build the house but first it was purely made of uh, the brick and the mud but the ancient house if you observe they are still the as strong as you build the modern house you can say that more stronger than the modern house because they did not had any kind of technology yet if you see the ancient palace ancient castles and ancient uh, anything if you see they have built till the date they are as it is we don't they don't get the cracks on their wall as we get nowadays so this is the difference though the technology has increased and is being increasing but still the work of ancients we cannot just ignore them because they really worked hard because without any kind of machines you can see this women cooked over open fires on the raised mud brick and hearts so human uh, they, they they the humans used to cook their food on the kind of 
natural stove made with the bricks and the you can say hay you can say the whatever they got to burn their woods their hay everything they used to generate the fire on which they used to cook the food now you have stove induction everything now you have but at that time they were not having any they, they were not even having the lighters with which they could ha they could light the fire using two stones two sharp stones they used to generate the fire and then cook the food that was really not easy task you never know where the fire will increase when the fire will decrease they all had to handle on on their own so this is how their lives were full of hard work even for the women it was not easy and this is one more example this is one more picture i have brought for you this is the example of how they used to live if you can see there is no shelter there is no dome nothing to cover the uppermost part of the house because at that time they were not having that knowledge that how can you cover the house and if you cover the house if suppose then how to maintain it if if, uh, if suppose it will fall down due to rain heavy rain or flood anything could happen correct no particular borders were there if you can see all around so this is just a model which i have brought for you all to understand that how the lives were during those days so now in the following picture you can see the evolution of houses yes using mats and clay and everything they used to make at first and then with the bricks and cements cements although they invented very uh, it very uh, you know after the 90s after the 18s i mean but you can see how the shelter is yes they were not of cement they were not of plaster nothing they used wood bricks that's it they did not had any particular technologies or any particular stuff to make the house so if you can see that how the construction is at first there is a garden correct and on the very opposite side there is a there is an entrance but now what do you have you have gardens different in the a separately in the area you have uh, your houses at your own privacy correct you have the shops at at, at its own privacy but if you can see in this picture everything every little thing is combined correct uh, entrance of the house the garden the shops everything is combined during those days but now you have your own privacy you have your own house you are, have your own bedrooms you um you are living at a quite a comfortable zone if you see the ancient people this is what i have brought for you the modern house correct this is how nowadays people like to live in these kind of house with all the facility of water electricity and small small even the vehicles they need the modern vehicles to travel as fast as possible correct so this this is why you need the shelter to cover yourself to to be safe from the natural calamities so what are the uses of house now we live in in the modern now we just talk about the present situation the house we live in protects us from the rain correct so when you need shelter to protect yourself from the rain correct so now the house you live in protects you from the rain protects us from the heat and dust as well yes because uh, sometimes when you play outside you play you don't realize that how much for a long time you have played outside so the because of the sunlight you feel that you are not well you you st uh, start complaining about the headache about the eyes uh, pain and etc etc so everything is disappeared just if you enter inside the house so you say there is there is a saying there is a saying in the hindi that house is the last point of the earth for us it is a corner actually earth is round in a spherical shape it does not have any corner but as soon as you reach to your house you feel you are the that is the safest most safe or you can say that you are at your comfort level at your house correct so there are 
the use is you you should not say there are the uses but these this is the main thing why human beings need shelter and students there are different kinds of house correct different they they are different in shapes they are different in size correct they are different uh, even in the materials with with how they are made in the abroad countries if you see they build the house with the using most uh, of the materials with the wood why because there the natural calamities like cyclone and uh, etc etc takes place at the high level at the uh, you know uh, at every year so the house if you make there the expensive house the more expensive the house is and the more damage you will have to bear whereas in india we can say different kind of uh, you know ancient uh, constructions like palaces and castles they are the india is known for that so every different country every different states have their own houses uh, the styles of the houses and they differ even in the materials in the shapes and according to their own comfort zone so now students there are two kinds of house one is not permanent which is temporary and one is permanent house correct permanent house basically is made of of bricks and cements and concrete iron rods even are used to make the pillars of that house to make the house more strong so permanent house are most probably if you see uh, you cannot see permanent house in villages correct in the cities in the towns in the metro cities you can see the permanent houses and what what it what do you mean by permanent permanent means we, you cannot shift the location of that house you cannot just uh, take away if you want to and you can just uh, assemble it again wherever you want no permanent house mean it is permanent over there either you need to destroy it once it is constructed or you can rebuild it or you can refurbish it so this is the permanent house correct so there are even different types of permanent houses so here you can see i have brought a difference for you single storied building multi storied building no you don't have to note down don't worry this is just an extra knowledge so if you can see my dear students there is a difference written between the single storied and multi storied building in a single storied building a single storied house has only one floor so if your house is of one floor it is single storied whereas a multi storied house has multiple floors means it could be 2 3 4 or even the skyscraper correct but the skyscraper is different though it is named as skyscraper so it has its own speciality the second part is a single storied house is built in a place without any land space limitation whereas the multi storied house is built in a place where limited land is available so this is the main two differences of the single storied and multi storied buildings and the third fourth point is a single storied house is built for only one family so obviously like uh, we we should not go on, any, on anyone's economy but if you can say that single storied house is usually built for one family whereas multi storied house is built for many families it is possible that even in the single storied house you you get 5 to 6 rooms yeah if someone is not interested or someone is uh, not uh, you know uh, you can say comfortable with the multi storied they can build single storied because they have the you know fear of getting uh, earthquake and etc etc so they choose single storied house with different rooms multiple rooms or you can say various rooms and in multi storied house is built from for many families so you know uh, in india especially we have the joint families you have your uncle's family your paternal uncle's family your paternal aunt's family so there are different Uh, families living in a at a single place so there multi storied is very much useful a single storied house is constructed generally by owners whereas a multi storied building is constructed by builders and sold to the buyers so now you all know that the buildings are there around you flat which you call it in your language flats so they are multi storied whereas the tenement or you can say that a single storied house sometimes you just buy that much piece of land and then you construct you ask the constructors to construct it in your own way so that is constructed by the owners that is called uh, constructed by the owners whereas 
in the buildings the con contractors are there the builders are there those who have bought the big piece of land they then hire the contractors and then after successfully completion of construction of the building they sell it to the buyers the different different part the different uh, you can say the floors are divided and sold to the buyers fifth point is a single storied house mostly do not have extra facilities within their premises most of the multi storied buildings have facilities like park swimming pool etc within their premises whereas the, to enjoy these facilities like park swimming pool they have to go out uh, to the other places yes most probably unless you have villa unless you have mansion or a, any big house or farm house you can say you don't build swimming pool within your house correct but whereas in multi storied building the contractors make sure that you have the swimming pool park etc during these days so they can earn more and more they can get the sufficient price for the house they sell so these were the difference between the single storied and multi storied houses buildings we can say moving on my dear students we saw the variety of houses we understood the types of houses we saw the difference between the single storied and multi storied which is the type of permanent houses moving on to what do you wear means the clothing part of the chapter so now students you can see that uh, two kids are playing and one pet dog is also there the boy asks the boss what are you doing and the honey bee replies chinu i am feeling hot see the uh, the perspiration on their faces so this is my fan if you can see the wings and the dog is really feeling very hot bus raja come here so she is calling to that honey bee if you can see so honey bee came around her and said that meenu don't you feel hot so now here boy replies bus everyone feels hot so students do you know why they are talking like this because they are feeling hot because it is a summer season if you can see sun here so now as you can see that not only those two kids and the buzz which is honey bee and the dog but all the men in the town are feeling hot why because it is the summer season all are talking and chatting about the summer season and all are if you can see sweating they are having the handkerchiefs with which they are just wiping their perspirations so students it is very much obvious that when it is very hot it is which season obviously it is summer season correct so now if you can see that here the buzz again comes to meenu are you not feeling hot in that thick dress this is what the honey bee is asking to the girl because the honey bee feels that the dress is really thick so meenu replies that it is not thick dress bus actually the dress the meenu is wearing is not thick at all i am wearing a cotton dress this is what meenu says she is wearing which dress student she is wearing cotton dress because it is a summer season so obviously she is wearing a cotton dress because it is very much good for summer so meenu is not feeling hot at all in the summer though it is very hot so honey bee asks cotton what is that remember when the wind blew that day this is what honey bee is thinking now for her past days so now honey bee remembers that yes on that day they saw the feather like cotton plant if you can see in the picture i have shown you this is how the cotton is obtained from the plants correct if you have ever seen uh if you're not seen i will request you to go to the cotton plant area so his brother says that his uh, her dress is made up of cotton it keeps us cool in the summer also so cotton dresses are made for the summer now you all know that so now students if you can see that it is raining correct so why it is raining so because it is a rainy season and we wear rain coat when it is rain obviously when it rains we wear rain coat to protect ourselves from the water from the cold because if you get wet you will obviously feel cold so 
आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर इवन वेरिंग वेरिंग द रेन कोट इन द रेनी सीजन सो यू सी द हनी वी शी इज ऑल्सो आस्किंग फॉर द रेन कोट सो द गर्ल इज टीजिंग दैट यू डोंट हैव रेन कोट बिकॉज यू आर यू आर एन इनसेक्ट सो नाउ इफ यू कैन सी दैट द गर्ल इज हेल्पिंग द द इंसेक्ट ऑल्सो बाय कवरिंग द इंसेक्ट एनी वेज दिस इज वॉट आई शोड यू बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्स फ्रॉम द रेन एंड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू कैन सी दैट हनी बीज सिंग दैट आई एम फीलिंग कोल्ड सो नाउ वेन डू यू फील कोल्ड स्टूडेंट्स इन समर सीजन नो वी डोंट फील कोल्ड इन समर सीजन then when do we feel uh, cold the weather is cold the ship says of course you will feel a little cold why does she say so winter is coming exactly so in the winter season you feel cold and why is this ship telling us about the cold let us see so now minu says who are you because minu is not knowing this ship so ship says i am a ship and students if you remember in the question answers we saw that we get the woolen clothes correct so now minu and her brother are talking to the ship and now if you can see in the picture i have i am showing it to you that this is the winter season okay in india in uh, in the western or the northern area on the, on the south, southern areas we don't get the snowfall but this is how actually the winter season is full of snow full of cold you can't even feel your fingers if you don't wear the gloves correct so this is the photo of the winter season so now you can see two men are feeling very cold they are even trembling and you can see that they are using fire yes to make themselves uh, hot and to feel a bit warm so now if you can see that this boy is touching the hair of ship so this boy asked the ship why don't you have much hair so now ship will reply that my hair is called wool now students the woolen clothes which you wear is is which you obtain from this ship so this is the source of wool so we get wool from the ship the white wool if you can see the hair of the ship is called wool and this is the wool from which either your mother or your grandma stitches the woolen clothes and the sweaters for you so that you will feel warm and you will not feel cold and our sweater is also made up of wool which is written here in the tag line of this photo correct this is how i have shown you the example of the sweater correct so you have the different colors of sweater you have different colors of wool so that you can make the sweaters so you can see that now the ship explained to the children that it is my wool the ship said it is my wool so it is very clear now students that you get the wool from the ship the sweater you are wearing the hot sweater because of which you feel warm you don't suffer from the disease so this is all given by the wool so students when do you feel very hot this is the simple question in summer obviously in summer you feel hot and uh, when do you feel very cold my dear students you see the snowfall just now we discussed in the winter season and what do we wear in summer students do we wear woolen clothes in summer no we don't wear woolen clothes what do we wear cotton clothes the clothes made of cotton and what do you wear in the winter woolen sweaters it is a sweater correct i showed you before also i hope that you all are even wearing sweaters rain coats according to the seasons and what do you wear in the rains a rain coat correct which covers your legs which covers your uh, you know arms and your head even the caps are also available so now student we 
had a much of knowledge about the house about the clothes about the types of house about the types of clothes in today's lecture i hope that you have watched this lecture you have heard everything every detail when to use which cloth which kinds of houses are there i hope that this extra knowledge was important for you because as much as knowledge you have your gk level will also increase so you should have this science related knowledge this science lectures related knowledge so that you can have this extra knowledge in your mind you can use it wherever you want and knowledge is never waste remember that i hope you enjoyed the lecture goodbye take care of yourselves